Hello crafters, today I'm doing a one stamp five cards with the Utterly Love You stamp set by My Favourite Things. This is an adorable stamp set and it has six otters and lots of very cute and punny sentiments and I'm going to be making a lot of cards with it today. For the first few cards, I'm going to show you how to make this wave background, and you can buy dies to make this background, but I thought I'd show you how to make it without the dies, so you can save yourself about $30. You're welcome. So, to make it, first you want to make out a frame. Um, I kind of went, I think, a quarter inch all along the card base. Then you want to sketch out your waves. It really doesn't matter. They can be as organic or as stylized as you want, and they really will look good in the end, whatever you do. Then you're going to want to take your craft knife, exacto knife, and you're going to want to cut around the frame, making sure not to go where the wave comes to the border and the waves themselves. And then you have something like this, a negative and a solid space. I decided to colour the um, negative space blue for um, so you can use them for a card. And then I put the solid space onto a card base and I just taped that down with um, some washi tape. You're going to be taking this up again. And then you're going to want to stick down the negative spaces and you're going to use this the solid space as a stencil. I hope that makes sense. And you're just going to want to fill that all in. It's to save paper and you get two cards out of one. And then of course you can use the solid space as a card as well. I decided to make a background for it so it kind of stands out. So in the back I um, put some different blues, purples and greens so it would stand out and I just used my cheap watercolour set and a water brush to do this and I made really cloudy, um, a kind of a C shape as you would imagine. And then you're going to want to stick that down onto, you're going to want to stick the solids part onto the card base. I just use some double sided tape and then I'm going to stick down all of my otters. I had colored these before using some alcohol markers but they're really easy to color and I'm really happy I got the markers to blend and I think they're so adorable. So I just stuck them down. For the second card I'm going to show you how to make this wave background and you're going to want to use the two stamps in the stamp set and I'm using four different Memento um, Dewdrop ink pads. You can use whatever ink pads you want and as many um, colours as you want. I just chose four because that's what I had and I think it really created a depth to the background. For the next card I just cut some paper using a The Works die and some Dewcrafts paper and I'm just going to stick my otter onto that. It creates a really really quick and simple card but it was very easy and effective and for the next card I chose some Dear Lizzie paper by American Crafts and I cut that out with the works die again and I stuck some I stuck the otters facing each other onto it using some um, foam tape and it kind of created a heart shape for the next card, I'm going to make a horizontal scene. So I started off with um, the stones in the set and I kind of layered those um, where I wanted them to go. And then I decided to add some waves and fish and everything I could. So I'm just going to stamp down the fish now. I think the fish are very cute as well. And I made a fish background. You'll see that later in the video where I show all the cards. And once that was done, I decided to colour in everything. I chose um, lots of different markers. I had um, Target Twin markers and Pro markers to colour in everything. And the fish, again, I chose really bright neon colours for the fish. For the next card, I decided to go full on watercolour. So I'm going to start off by putting um, some watercolour paper into my Misty. Then I'm layering all of the otters onto the card. I used five of the six. And I'm just going to, I'm going to mess around with them until I'm happy with how they are. I'm going to stamp that down with some Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And then I'm going to add the accessories, the stones um, and lots of fish in the background. And this was really just to fill in the background and give it a bit more interest because the otters were kind of boring by themselves. 
Then I decided to colour them in using Ducraft's Artiste watercolour markers and I used grey for the um, otters and I just put some where the shadows would be and then I pulled and blended that out with, so, with my water brush and I did this for everything in the same way and you can layer the colours and yeah. And then I, um, when I was done all of my otters and the accessories, I scribbled some of the markers onto an acrylic block and then I'm going to take some water to it and just colour the, the background in with that. Hi guys, so I'm back and I have made all of the cards and you're actually getting a lot of bang for your buck in this video because it's not a uh, one stamp 5 cards, it's one stamp 17 cards. That's the amount of cards I made um, for this video. Of course, I'll be making so many more in the future. I love this stamp set so much. So I'm just going to go through how I made um, everything because I didn't film some of these and um, I thought some people would want to know. So this is... Um, the one I made where I watercolored it. I just stamped the background and watercolored it with Ducas Artis watercolor markers. This is probably my favorite. I don't know. I think it's just so cute. This is one I made. Um, I die cut something using a duck circle using the works die, and um, I colored it with some. Um, what's it called? Tiger twin markers, and then I stamped the little. Um, ways on and I embossed it and I put a little sentiment. I didn't film me putting on the sentiments because it's pretty basic and I think you all know how to do it. This is a really cute one as well and I love the paper. I think it's from an American Crafts Dear Lizzie collection. Very old. This is Ducraft's paper and I also love the little hearts I put in using Ducraft's dye. I love the little otter with his heart. Um, this is a background I made um, using the stamps and another one, I really love how the waves um, background turned out. One I made with lots of different fish, I think this is a really cute one and I love the sentiments with the black, it really stands out, so that's really good. Um, I love the little hearts I made, I made ba three cards with hearts backgrounds using Lawn Fun and Mama Elephant's little hearts from Pandemonium and Chit Chat stamp sets from them, so I just put those on. I'm very proud of this technique um, for making waves background so you don't have to buy the die. And I made four cards with this, as you can see. And here I embossed the works dies onto the background. You really don't see that much, but I really like it. So anyway, that's all for today. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Um, tell me down below what stamp I should use next. And more importantly, please subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And I really try to get to 1,000 subscribers. So thanks so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.